would you say is the differentiating factor? Because you had mentioned earlier that there's there's a gap between the agents who are out here just killing it and doing really well, the ones you hear about that are, you know, the superstars of real estate, and then you hear about the ones who just kind of the lost sheep were trying to figure it out. Like, what would you say the differentiating factor or factors that really set apart the two groups? Wow, that's the rest of the question, Coach. That's a very interesting question. It's a it's a heavy question. So because you know, Rick, we hear it, man. Sometimes people feel like you got to have some special some special thing to be able to be successful in real estate. Like you got to have some special mojo uh, to be successful in real estate. And I believe personally, man, I believe like I believe anybody can be successful if they're willing to do this one thing. And I believe this is the answer to the caller's question. Right. Her question is, what's that thing that differentiates the superstars from the lost sheep? I believe it's the, the superstars, not just at the beginning of their business, but definitely at the beginning of their business. But just throughout their business, they do this one thing and they, they take action. Right. They take action. And what those that end up getting lost in real estate, either they're not taking action. Like either they've connected with the company, they've connected themselves to a situation that is supporting them, and th but they're not taking the action. They're not taking the guidance or, or the information that that, that uh, community is giving them. Either that or they are willing to take action, but they've just kind of, like I said in the first question, they've just connected themselves um, at too early in an area that's not giving them the support and the guidance that they need. So... I believe that that's what really differentiates those that take off and those that that don't quite get their footing under them is number one, they're not taking action. Some are taking action. Some are not taking action or they're taking action, but they've just aligned themselves without the support that that can that around them to help them move in a particular direction. And if I had to add a third thing to the equation, Rick, I would definitely have to say patience, being patient with patient with the process, right? Yes. Be, become becoming successful, right? You don't just come into this business and boom, you'd have made it in real estate. That's just not how it works. To become successful in real estate, it takes time. And even after you are you've had a level of success, for you to continue having success, it comes in waves. It takes time. So you got to be patient with the flow of how real estate goes. You have to trust the process of how it goes. And I think when a person does those three things, they're, they're, they're taking action, they've aligned themselves with an organization that's giving them support, and they're remaining patient with the process, that's what turns them into a superstar in this business. And I know it's tough because you don't want to seem as if you're someone tooting your own horn on your own show. But I want to add that uh, in my experience and from what I've seen, those who can come into the industry and not only be coachable, mm. but trust and believe in the coaching. Yeah. And I believe that's what you're speaking towards when you talk about the implementation. Yeah. Yeah. Because so many times and they'll, people will come to you, schedule consultations, schedule a chance to talk to Coach Mike. And even though they know you're experienced year after year, decade after decade, people still for some reason have an idea in their mind how the real estate business should work. And even as you're coaching them, they may not have total buy-in. Mm. So mm. I would just like to add, be coachable, find a real estate mentor that you can trust and believe in mm -hmm. so that you're 100% bought into his or her vision but then at the same time, belief, trust, and implementation. Absolutely. Uh, because, you know, Rick, of those three things that I mentioned, as a broker, there's only really one of them that I can control, and that's the support. That's the only thing that I can control. I can't control you taking action, right? And I can't control you being patient with the process and trusting the process. I can't control those two aspects. So what that means is, Rick, when I have when we meet with people and they say, well, you know, do all of your agents succeed? And my answer is no, right? Because I only have control over one of the aspects. I have, we've had plenty of agents that come in here and they're not taking action. They're not going to make it with Brooks and Davis, period. We have agents that come in here 
and they're not going to, they don't trust the process. They're not patient with the process. They're not going to make it. And guess what, Rick? We cool with it because what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we do our part. And if we do, when we, and when we do our part and the other person does their part is guaranteed success. But if they don't yes. do their part, they're not going to make it. And, and, I'm, and we're unapologetic at, about it at this point. And, you know, for members of our audience, I know who, ch who check us out weekly, they know that you are very big on education and support of the real estate professionals that you have the opportunity to coach and mentor. Mm -hmm. And this is just another example of why that is so important and why you are so passionate about supporting the agents, educating the agents and providing them with every tool necessary for them to go out in this highly competitive real estate market and be successful. Yeah. Well, so well, once again, go well, to BrentonDavis.com. Yes, yeah, yeah. What, I was, what I was going to say, Rick, is that be, and the reality is because we want more people to be superstars of real estate, especially in our community, man. Like even if I bring it down to the micro level, you know, in the black community, we need more superstars in real estate, right? Because there's, we got to get more black people in the houses. You know, we have to really, we need to help our community really capitalize more on this vehicle of real estate. We got to do a better job. So that's going to require us to have more superstars in this, in this industry. So we want that. We're committed to that. And it's not that hard to do, Rick. It's not that hard for you to become a superstar in this business, right? I broke it down to three things, Rick. Get yeah. connected, support, take action when you get connected, and be patient with the process. Superstar all day. Absolutely, and I agree. So everyone in the audience. And see, Coach Mike, you always urge people to reach out, schedule a time to consultation, learn more about our affiliate program. But I want everyone in the audience to know that's just not lip service. Right. Stop by the website. Go to brooksanddavis.com. Read, explore. It's a fabulous new website, really user friendly. And when you have the opportunity, you have time, reach out to Coach Mike and schedule some time to conference, meet, stop by the Brooks and Davis Education and Training Center because the tools that you will be provided with will give you the opportunity to create not only generational wealth, but also be able to service our community that so desperately needs professionals from a real estate perspective to help close that wealth gap that we have here in the U.S. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Rick. Hey, man, look, coach, you 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 in the groove right now. And I don't know if if I should even pause or go straight to our third question, man, because right now, man, look, you hitting them out the park. coach. So if you got time for another call from the text line, man, I would love to see your thoughts on their question. 